Hey guys, it's Allison. Welcome back to The Tiny Herd, where we talk about everyday pet care for guinea pigs, rabbits, and other small pets. Today, I have a fun, exciting video that was completely unexpected. You can probably tell from the title, but we have a new rescue bunny that we've had about three to four days now. We got him on Friday. It is Monday and I just wanted to take you guys along the entire process, explain a little bit about where we got him from or her, I'm not positive, and just show you um, his setup downstairs and all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys the story of how we ended up with the bunny and then show you guys some really cute clips and his setup in our basement. Okay, so I don't want to talk a ton in this video, but I do want to share the story of how we actually ended up with the bunny. We are calling him Big Mac, or really we're calling him Little Mac because he's a little bun, but that name actually comes because he was rescued from a McDonald's parking lot. So there is a McDonald's in our town, actually on a pretty busy road, um, and luckily there just happened to be I think like a family, like a mom and her kids, or at least her teenage daughter, were there to get breakfast last Friday. And the daughter actually realized that there was a little yellow bunny that was trying to shelter under the cars in the drive-thru. So the actual cars that were driving through the drive-thru. So bunny was darting around the parking lot and kind of just, you know, you can imagine it's getting to winter here, so it's cold, it was on concrete, there was big moving cars, so I'm sure that was a really stressful situation for the little bun, but luckily that sweet girl took the time to actually catch the bunny. Um, she was able to catch it without honestly too much trouble, and I'm not surprised now that I have actually met um, the little bun myself, but she was able to catch him and they posted on Facebook that they had found and rescued this bunny from the Walmart or the McDonald's parking lot. That is kind of where I came in because like I said, I had somebody text me about the bunny, the post with the bunny, and then I had multiple people tag me in her Facebook post because I wasn't even friends with this girl on Facebook and I was immediately told about this bunny. Um, I wasn't planning on taking it like for us to keep. Um, but I did reach out to her and I said, hey, we have bunnies. I have this experience. I'm working on starting a rescue. If you don't have anywhere for it to go, we will take it and at least foster it until we can figure it out or find its owner. So that was what our plan was. Um, so I, she ended up getting back with me. Um, they didn't f get hear anything from an owner or anything like that. So we did go that evening and pick up the bunny from their house. So my main concern at that point was just getting some food in this bunny, making sure it didn't have any immediate health issues, and getting it a nice, quiet setup um, away from all our other pets, of course, because you always want to quarantine a new pet. So I didn't want it to be anywhere near our current bunnies or the guinea pigs or anything like that. So we do have a finished basement in our house and there is a bedroom down there. So we were able to just quickly set up a temporary bunny area in that bedroom. We moved the baby gate that's normally on our pet room up here. Um, we moved it down to the basement because we don't use it up here. And that has been his setup for the last couple of days. The plan was to just put him in there, let him settle and all of that. And honestly, it took like two hours before he was bouncing all over the basement. This bunny, Big Mac, is the exact opposite of my other two buns. My Mike and Andy are super chill and lazy. Big Mac is bouncing off the walls. I'm not kidding. Like the last night I was sitting on the couch in the basement on my iPad, my iPad down, you know, just how you hold an iPad. And I'm not kidding. He was nowhere to be seen somewhere in the basement. And there was just like a flash of fluffy white tail. And he was sitting on my iPad on my chest, just like, that's how quick he is. And he's so small. He just, he'll bound off of everything and just jump on you. So he's the exact opposite. And it's been definitely an adjustment, but it's been really, really nice to see how quickly he settled in. He's been eating really well. From day one, his poops were really, really tiny because he hadn't eaten very much that day. Was stressed out, I'm sure. Probably was eating dropped McDonald's fries. Like, it's cold outside, so he probably was just eating anything that he could find. There's not a ton of grass that's growing. So my main concern was getting him eating. By day two, poops looked much better, so that made me feel good. Um, loved his veggies, eats hay, perfectly litter trained. Um, 
hops up on everything, was a, like super bun with feet out and loafing within five to six hours of him being with us. So I am so happy this worked out the best that it possibly could. Didn't have it, I didn't even do like a full sit down health check with this bunny because there's nothing immediately wrong. Like we're still making a vet appointment to get all that sorted out and to see if it's fixed. And honestly, I can't tell for sure if it's a boy or a girl. I have very little experience with te uh, checking the gender of bunnies and the pictures online, honestly, to me, look exactly the same. So I actually think it's a girl, but we are defaulting to calling it a boy, I think, because we already have boy bunnies. I think it's actually a girl, but I'm getting a vet appointment done so that we can know for sure, see if we need to um, do any other health things and figure out um, what we need to do about spay or neuter, if it's already spayed or neutered, all of that good stuff. So at this point, I think we are going to be keeping Bunny, which was not the original plan. We actually had been looking at the Humane Society at a different Bunny that has special needs, that only has one eye, because Bunnies generally need to be with another Bunny. So I wasn't really going into trying to find it, like, I wasn't trying to go into a situation where I was going to have to bond a Bunny with another Bunny. Um, the special needs Bunny was going to need to be a single Bunny. Um, he had some health issues, he only had one eye, and it was going to be like an ongoing thing, so he was going to need to be a solo bunny, we were going to have him be the basement bun, now we have Big Mac as the basement bun. So we will see how this all works out. I don't know if we will try to find another bunny to go with Big Mac, I'm thinking not. I don't think he's ever been around other bunnies, and he is very, very, very well socialized with humans. So I don't know if it would be a bit of a shock to him to have another bunny around. So for now, he's going to be a lone bunny. Obviously, we'll evaluate as things go along and figure out what we need to do. But he very much likes people. He very much wants people around and to see what they're doing. Also, being in the basement is not a problem. My boyfriend is down there all the time. He plays video, ga video games down there every single evening. Like, he's always down there. Um, my boyfriend also only works three days a week, so he is home a ton, a lot more than I am, and then I'm home, of course, on the weekends as well. So he will get plenty of attention being down in the basement. My boyfriend comes home for lunch every day and checks on all the pets and gives them snacks. So don't have to worry about him being bored or alone. He pretty much has been sleeping during the day and then playing with us when we get home or when we come down. So he's doing well, but I obviously will keep you guys updated on that as things progress and whether he needs a friend or not in the future because normally I would say bunnies need friends but we'll just see how it goes. Um, so that is really the story of Big Mac. We've been calling him or her Mac, um, Big Mac, Mac. So that just worked out super well. I will shut up now. I've been talking for five minutes and we'll actually show you the little bunny.
thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is hopefully the first of many rescue vlogs as we work to get our actual animal rescue started. Um, obviously, I'm not an actual rescue at the moment, but people in my community are kind of starting to realize that I am into rescuing pets and rabbits and guinea pigs and that sort of thing. So that is always good and that will help out once I actually get my rescue started. So if you are interested in learning more and following my whole rescue setup journey, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be sharing the whole process with you guys as I work on getting it started. Um, over the next year, I'm working on getting all my finances and all the finances for the rescue sorted out while growing the tiny herd. And from there, we are going to work on at the actual rescue. So what you guys watching these videos helps me out a ton with the financial side, as well as ordering from my Etsy shop and all of that good stuff helps support my financial things right now that I need to get sorted out in order to actually get my rescue started. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.